Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our PHP PDO CRUD application and now guys in this video we are going to learn how to fetch the data from our SQL database in HTML table. So guys now let's get started. So first let's move to our editor and let's go to our index.php file. So in this index.php file I want to show the output. Okay. So here uh, why it's not going this. So guys in previous video like we have shown this message right. So you just need to unset that. Let me unset it. After showing the session message we need to unset that session message. So just unset it. That's it. Not to worry and refresh. Okay it's gone. So guys now let's begin with the fetching of data card body table dot table where let's give table border table striped and then table head guys after table head table row table heading where ID then full name email phone and finally one course that's it so now t body and over here table row so inside this table data will be fetching all our records so let's see the output over here cool so here is the our output of table and let's fetch the data from our database so guys let's begin the query so first up guys we need to include our database okay so let's include the database over here include function where inside this dbcon.php file so here is our database connection guys so you just need to create this code and we are including that done so let's get back to our table body and begin with the php so here let's write the query is equal to select all the fields from which table students table we have inserted the records okay so guys now let's prepare this statement statement is equal to with the help of database connection let's prepare the above query prepare function dollar query all set so after preparing your query let's execute that query guys so dollar statement of execute and after this let's fetch the data so whatever we fetch the data let's keep in that result your executed statement executed statement of fetch all function okay now you can just check in a if condition if at least one record is there means you are going to check else you will show no record found here we divide the code open and close php where table row table row table data no record found all set and here we add call span is equal to number of headings so 4 plus 1 5 can just add that 5 so it will show in a correct format so now guys if the result is found then you are going to loop the result and fetch the data so let's take this variable called result and here we fetch as dollar item okay so whatever item we are item or row let's take it row itself so it gives more clear idea so now guys let's close php and open php that means dividing it let's cut this and paste here all done and now you can just copy this row of open php and close php row of id so now if you want to check the output 
let's go and here we go so one and two record which is id is coming let's fetch the full name so let's copy and paste full name here we go with email so let's check with this two records refresh perfect so full name email the data has come guys so now uh, i wanted to show you one more thing like this is the method of associated array data we are getting it okay so let me just show you pdo colon colon where fetch associate okay so this is this will give your associated data and you can check the output you are getting the same data okay there is no changes so now let let me just fetch this data in a different format that i mean in a object so let's control x and let's keep for the reference and here we paste this and just make this to fetch underscore obj that means object wise okay and here you will get the error something like cannot use an object of type so you have to view in a different format so i mean in an object format you have to view all set so let me just select this control x and remove paste done so refresh cool so you are getting your data so guys i just wanted to share this you can fetch in object or if fetch associated vice also so let me just get the other two fields phone and course now refresh done guys so let's get back and one more thing i wanted to show that the format of fetching instead of writing here you can just give this like statement okay so this statement whatever you are executed that statement you are going to set fetch mode okay and inside this you are going to pass your fetch mode data so let's control x and paste here and the same format for this also you can call in this okay so now you can just check the output refresh here the same so if you want to fetch in associated format then you have to change this method okay so let me just show you that to fetch in this associated type let's select control d here we add paste so yep you get the data so guys these are the few methods how you can display your data okay so let's display in a fetch i mean object method itself so let's type obj and now you are very really fresh cool so guys in this video we have learned about how to fetch the record from our database in php data object okay and let's continue next video with edit option and update the records so guys thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share